Ozark CW continues. We begin with our decision. 2022 voters heading out to the polls today all to cast their ballots for the midterm election. Caitlin Schumacher has been live this morning at St. Elizabeth and Seton as the trail of people has been making its way through. Caitlin, you've seen a steady stream since those polls opened this morning. Good morning. Yes, we have. We've seen quite a number of people come in. In fact, 575 ballots have already been cast since the polls opened at 6 o'clock this morning here at St. Elizabeth Ann Seton. Now, if you are one of those people who are looking to cast your ballot today, then there's a few things you need to know before you head out the door. So one of them is going to be that you have to have a photo ID with you. If you do not have a photo ID with you, then you will not be able to cast a ballot. You'll have to cast a provisional ballot. But a photo ID that you need to have with you is a driver's license, non-driver's driver's license, military ID, or passport. Things that were valid IDs in the past will not be considered valid today. So that is things like a utility bill or a voter registration card. You're not going to be able to use those at the polls today. Now, if you don't have a valid ID with you, like I said, you'll have to cast a provisional ballot instead. Just if a voter comes in, they don't have any form of ID like the photo um, from their driver's license, they can still cast a ballot. They just need to state their name and their address to the election judge. As long as they find that in the poll pad, they will be able to check them in the vote, and then they'll be actually giving them their ballot to cast into a blue or white envelope. It's called the provisional ballot envelope. And then what will happen is they can either come back by 7 o'clock that night and either show them a photo ID, and if they show them the photo ID, then we know that ballot counts. But if they don't, then we're going to take that signature on the outer envelope, and we'll compare it to the signature we have on file. Now, if you would like to look at a sample ballot or find your polling location, then you can go to ky3.com or the KY3 News app. You're going to click on Election Day 101 on the trending bar, and that's going to take you to all the information that you need to know. Live in Springfield, I'm Caitlin Schumacher. Caitlin, thank you.